Hi everyone, I am here uh, really quick. I wanted to come on. Someone had asked about how I wire wrap my beads. So I'm just gonna show you two uh, really quick. Um, I just have a few in here that I've been working with. Uh, one of them, you can see the hole is huge, right? But it's a beautiful bead. And then the other one that I'm playing with is a, um, what, like a cap, not a capuchon, but a, it's almost like a rubbery and the hole is on the side, right? So that's pretty different. And then you have your standard round bead that uh, looks like that. So when I um, buy my pins, and you can see I have a plethora because every time I go, I buy it, I need to stop. But I like to buy um, the two inch head pins. Um, actually, um, I like to buy the ones that are three inches long. Okay, love those. I also like the ones with the uh, bigger head to them, but when I can't find them, that's fine. But I do like the long ones. So um, because I already know that if I was to put this bead through, it is going to come straight through because the hole is so big. So I am going to use a sequence, just one little sequence. And uh, these are pretty clear or some are pink. So I'm just going to grab one out of here. And hopefully that won't go through. Okay, so that's good. And then I'm going to thread my bead. And then it stops right there. And then I want to put something because, again, the hole is so big. Um, I had some beads that look like this. Okay, they're silver. And they're perfect size because they will go um, right on top. Put those back in there. They'll fit right on top, you can see. Okay, so the tools that I use, I have my cutters to cut the wire, cut the uh, pin. Then I have these um, pliers. I have skinny round nose and then I have the flat nose so they're pretty different so I'm gonna start with the round and um, what I do is I, I always hold it like this so that it can just stay toward the bottom and then I'm gonna put my um, plier or my needle nose right on top of it you can see just have a little bit coming out and then holding it just like this, straight up, I'm just going to bend my wire away from me. Right, so now it looks like that. Then I'm going to shift the, um, the needle nose so that it's upright. Now it's on top of the curve that I just created. And I'm holding it really tight and then I'm gonna bend my wire back towards me. All the way back. So now it looks like that. And then I'm going to, um, while holding it, I'm going to pull it out because I want the bottom to be in here. It was the, the top, but now I want the bottom. And I'm gonna hold it. And then I'm going to bend my wire back so it looks like that and you have your circle from here I like to switch hands I don't know where I saw this from maybe it was buzzing with V I'm not sure but I'm going to grab the flat head now and I'm going to grab it toward the end and I'm just going to wrap it and I'm making sure that I am staying at the top toppest part and I'm just going to keep going around and usually it'll let you know when you can't oh, there she is again when you can't go anymore like right about now it's like that's enough because if you don't stop it'll pop it'll break so I'm just going to grab my cutters and let's see what's the best way to get in here such a tight squeeze and I want to cut that part off 
and then while I still have it in the needle nose, I'm just going to um, kind of bend that wire a little. There we go. As much as you can. So then once you once it comes out, you can play with it, flatten it up, make that circle a little more. Like I said, I don't go for perfection. So there's one of them done. Now here is one where it's sideways and it has the word love on both sides. So I'm gonna grab a pen. Same thing, start with the sequence because the hole is so big. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought these beads. I was looking at how cute they were. And not like, oh, they got a, a, a large opening. So I, I wasn't thinking. And that beige bead comes in lots of colors. So, okay, I put my sequence on. I'm just going to put the bead on. Push it down. Grab one of these silver ones. Just a small um, bead that you can get from Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Let's see here. Get in there. Okay. So there it is right there. Okay, I'm going to hold it down, get my round nose pliers, and put it at the very top of the bead. Push the pin away from you. Turn the pliers upright. Pull the pin back towards you. Again, holding it tight because it'll start moving. So now you have that look there. And then I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to take it out. You can see the bottom is in the hole right there so I'm going to pull it out and then put the top right where the curve is and then push the wire back and that creates the circle I'm going to switch hands I'm going to grab the flat nose and I'm just going to Work it around at least maybe three times. Like I said, it'll tell you when it's not wanting to go anymore. Ooh. I'm recording. <laughs> so, um, then I'm going to cut that part off. And make sure you're not looking when you do that. Um, put that back in and then I what I want to do is kind of um, find that cut part and just kind of twist it turn it a little just to flatten it there you go and then I use the part the flathead to kind of straighten it out again you want to go perf perfection you can but that's what I have right there the flat um, the wire wrap bead so I hope that helps a little please leave me a comment down below if you need me to uh, explain or uh, show you a video like I said nurse Tara has done wire wrap beads buzzing with V has done wire wrap beads lots of ladies and like I said I have those two uh, videos that I always go back to when I start doing these beads wrapping thanks again for watching bye now